Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jim Fahad. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this awesome zoom in profile card using Elementor page builder. So on the normal state, you can see only the people's images. And when you hover over on it, we can see the image beautifully zoom in. And also we can see other informations like their names, their social media icons, also this beautiful border with it. And when we move our cursor out of this box, we can see it's zoom out. Personally, I like this zoom in effect very much and I will show you everything from scratch how you can achieve this using only Elementor page builder. So without further ado, let's now go inside Elementor page builder. Alright, so let's first take a section and I'm selecting three column structure. First, let's make its height to minimum height and I'm making its height in VH and let's make it 100 VH. Now inside this middle column, now click on this Rubik's Cube icon and here I'm dragging an inner section inside this middle column. And let's just delete one of these columns. So basically within our middle column we have now our inner section and within the inner section we have only one column. Alright, now let's select the inner section by clicking on this inner six dots. Now I want to add a background image with it but first let's give it a height. So from here just select the height to minimum height and I'm making the minimum height to 480 pixel. Now let's go under its style tab and I will be adding the background image not using this background. I will be using this background overlay. So open the background overlay. So from here background type click on this classic icon and from here let's select an image. First I'm selecting this image. Click on insert media. So from here first let's make the position to center center and let's make the size to cover. Also the opacity I'm making it one. Perfect. Now let's scroll down from here and expand the border. From here I just want to add some border radius but first let's make it in percentage and I'm giving here 4% of border radius. And then let's add some box shadow from here. So first let's make the horizontal value to 0, vertical to 70, let's make the blur to 63 and spread I'm making it minus so let's press the down button I'm making it minus 60 so here underneath this section we can see the beautiful shadow effect all right now within the inner section we have here our column and inside the column I wanna add some element so first of all let's click on this Rubik's Cube icon and let's drag and heading widget inside this column and here put the name of the member so here I'm just typing Ben Pines now go under style tab and I'm making the text color to white color. Now from here typography I'm making the font size to 26 pixel. Perfect. Now before adding any other element inside this column I want to do some styling with this column. So let's select the inner column and go under its style tab. First of all I want to add some border. So from here let's make the border type to solid and border with one pixel. And from here I'm setting the border color to the white color. We cannot see the border right now because we need to add some spacing but I'm doing it shortly before that from here border radius again I'm setting it to in percentage and let's make the border radius to 4% and like I said now we need to add some spacing so go under advanced tab let's add 15 pixel of margin and also 20 pixel of padding with this inner column all right now we can see this white border and then here I want to add some social icons. So let's again click on the Rubik's Cube icon and from here I'm searching for the social icons. Here we go. Just drag these social icons underneath this heading here. And you know you can add social media links from here. If we just open the Facebook you can put your Facebook link here. You know these basic stuffs. So after Facebook, Twitter and YouTube I want to add some more social icons. So from here let's add item and here I'm searching for Pinterest. Here you go. Let's add it by clicking on this insert. And after that let's click on add item. Select over this icon and this time I'm searching for Instagram. Where it is and let's also insert it. And now do a bit of styling with it. So from here just go under style tab. First of all instead of the official color I'm setting it to the custom color. So the primary color. Um, actually I want to make it transparent. So just drag this bottom bar to the very left here. And from here the secondary color. You can make it any other color you want. But I want to set it to white. 
then here the icon size let's set it to 20 and padding let's add 0 0.4 to me it looks perfect and you know right now i want to make these social icons vertically aligned so to do that we need to apply a bit of trick so just go under the advanced tab and from here let's expand the positioning first of all here you see width let's make it to custom and i want to set the custom width to zero pixel and then from here you can see position i'm making it to absolute now let's scroll down first of all horizontal orientation by default it's left aligned it's perfect and offset i'm making it to 15 pixel and the vertical orientation here i want to set it to bottom and let's add offset to 20 pixel perfect so we are basically done with the layout of this profile card now why you wanna add some beautiful animation with it like you have seen at the preview of this tutorial basically on the normal state i just wanna show the image of this member and when we hover over on it the member image will zoom in also then i want to display all the column information like their name and social icons and to achieve that we need to apply some custom css with it so let's just click on this inner section so to select the inner section click on the six dots now go under its advanced tab and like i said we will be applying some custom css so from here just expand the custom css option by the way this custom css option is only available on elementor pro i will put the elementor pro purchase link in the description if you don't have elementor pro already you can get that from the description link now let's write a bit of custom css inside this custom css field but no worries if you're not comfortable with css because i already have written the css code for you all you need to do you just need to go to jimfahadedigital.com i will put this pages link in the description so from that page if you scroll down a bit here you can see overlay background zoom in css just copy this css snippet from here and then go inside elementor page builder and let's paste the css snippet here okay on the normal state we cannot see any change but if we now hover over on it you can see the background image is now zoom in it looks super cool now let's have a look here on this code here you can see i have set the scale on hover to 2 but if you don't want that much scaling you can set it to 1.5 also you need to put here 1.5 and now if we hover over on it you can see it's scaling but only the ratio is 1.5 but instead of 1.5 i want to scale it on 2 so here instead of 1.5 i'm putting 2 also here instead of 1.5 i'm putting 2 so if we now hover over on it you can see it's zooming within the scale number of 2 perfect and like i said i also want another animation on the normal state we will only have the image of the member and when you hover over on it the name of the member and their social icons will be revealed so to do that again go inside jimfahaddigital.com and if you scroll down a bit here you can see column element show or hide css again just copy this css snippet from here go inside elementor page builder now right after this css snippets so i'm hitting enter a couple more times to create some space and then paste the css code here now on the normal state we can no longer see any other element that we have put inside the column but if we now hover over on it we can see everything like their names their social media icons inside this column cool it looks very cool to me now we can duplicate this profile card couple more time but remember you need to duplicate the most outer column this column not the inner column so to duplicate it just hover over on the most outer column and duplicate it i want to duplicate it one more time so hover over on it and duplicate it and let's just delete this empty left column also let's delete the empty right column now i want to change the image of this first card so just click on this inner section from under its style tab open the background overlay from here let's choose another image so here i'm selecting this image click on insert media also i want to change the text so here i'm typing for the corp now let's change the image of the second card so click on the inner section go under style tab open the background overlay from here let's select another image let's select this one click on insert media also i want to change the name 
so here i'm typing daryl wilson perfect so each of the card is working perfectly and the last thing i want to check it how it's looking on tablet and mobile device so to check it from here just click on the responsive mode icon first let's have a look how it's looking on tablet device on tablet device they are looking great everything is working perfectly now let's have a look how it's looking on mobile device so click on the mobile device icon on the mobile device we can see everything is working perfectly but one thing you need to remember as mobile doesn't have any hover effect but it will work if we tap on this card as i have done it using css hover effect so it will work on mobile as well if we tap over these cards so everything is working perfectly on mobile tablet and desktop view so when you are happy with it just click on this green update button to save your work i hope you have learned something new today if you like it please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel also press on that notification icon to get notified before anyone whenever i will upload a new video on this youtube channel and if you need any help on your wordpress project or elementor project then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com i will try my best to help you personally once again thank you so much for watching this tutorial i will see you on the next video for now bye bye